Hi, I'm Lindsay Ann, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of basic techniques to create fun and professional looking cupcakes right from home. Now that I've shown you how to pipe that perfect bakery style swirl, I'm going to show you five completely different looks using the same tools. So first what I used is this Wilton 2A round tip to create the classic round swirl. What you can also do with this tip is really fun and really simple. You just start in the center and squeeze and you're going to create this little mound and you have just like a simple buttercream dollop and this is perfect for adding a little toy or sugar decoration on top for a great simple look. Next, I created this classic bakery style swirl using the Wilton 1M open star tip. What you can also do with this tip is create a really fancy shell look. I use this tip to create a shell border around my cakes. So what you're going to do is squeeze and pull into the center and go all the way around, squeezing, pulling into the center. And it almost kind of looks like a flower and just gives it this really fun, roughly look. You can go give it some height and do a step taller. And you have just a really fancy shell look. You can add some gold sprinkles or something fancy to that one. Next, I used the Wilton 2D. This is a closed star tip. And I created this really pretty feminine ruffly swirl. What you can also do with this is the classic buttercream swirl rose. And what you're going to do is start in the center and squeeze and go all the way around and instead of building up, you're going to go around the cupcake. And it makes this really pretty rose look. You can add a little green leaf to it too if you'd like. Make it look like a rose. Next, I created this clean, tight little swirl using the French tip. This is a Wilton 4B. What you can also use this tip for is similar to the round dollop. You press in the center and squeeze and it kind of makes this really fun, pretty, ruffly look. It almost looks like a flower or something really pretty. I love that one. And the last cupcake I did was just this classic retro old fashioned spatula swirl. So another technique using the spatula is just get a mound of icing, plop it on your cupcake, and just smooth it out around the edges. And this is going to create almost a little wall. So once you get it smoothed out all the way around covering the surface of your cupcake, you can kind of round off the top if you want. And it looks a little messy right now, but what you can do with this is roll it in sprinkles, chopped nuts, any kind of topping you like, and it makes it really fun. And there you have, with just a few simple tools, 10 completely different looks, really fun, really pretty. And for more videos in my Cupcakes 101 series, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or connect with me online for more fun baking tips, recipes, and ideas. Thanks for stopping by my Dollhouse Bake Shop. See you guys next time.